arithmetic progression the houses of a row are numbered consecutively from 1 to 49 show that there is a value of x such that sum of the numbers of the houses preceding the house numbered x is equal to sum of the numbers of houses following it find the value of x so here it is given that houses of a row are numbered consecutively from 1 to 49 so what we have to show there is a house such that sum of the numbers of the houses preceding the house numbered x is equal to sum of the numbers of houses following it okay this is what we want to prove for that let us imagine how the houses are numbered at first okay this is how the houses are numbered that is from 1 to 49 now what is in the problem that is there is an x such that sum of the numbers of houses preceding the x that is preceding the x means before x sum of the numbers before x that is 1 2 etc up to x minus 1 equal to x plus 1 plus x plus 2 etc up to 49 okay that is this is what given in the problem that is we have to find a value of x such that 1 2 3 etc up to x minus 1 equal to x plus 1 plus etc plus 49 that is house preceding the x sum of the numbers of house preceding the x is equal to sum of the numbers of house following it okay that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc plus x minus 1 equals x plus 1 plus etc plus 49 now we are going to use ap in this situation okay how can we represent this term that is this is a sum of numbers from 1 to x minus 1 so we can call it as s x minus 1 why the sum of first x minus 1 terms it is represented as s x minus 1 then what about this that is we have to find x plus 1 to 49 okay sum of the terms from x plus 1 to 49 in the terms of sum of ap we can represent it as s 49 minus fx why s 49 means 1 2 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc plus 49 minus sx means discarding the terms up to x that is 1 plus 2 plus etc plus x minus 1 plus x is discarded and then we are calculating the sum that is s 49 minus sx means that is s 49 is the full full houses then minus sx mean we will discard the houses up to x then what will remain these numbers that is x plus 1 to 49 so we got our equation sorry we got our problem in terms of ap next step we will going to solve this equation and then we will find the value of x okay Here, what is given that? That is the sum of first 10 terms of AP. So, in order to solve the previous equation, at first we have to look what is sum of the first 10 terms of the AP. That is, we are taking the equation as Sn equal to n by 2 into a plus a n. That is, sum of n first 10 terms of AP equal to n by 2 into first term plus last term. This is a one equation of sum of n terms of AP. We are going to use it here since we know the first term and last term in every situation here. So, in the next step, 
to show the axis x sum of the term, the number of houses preceding preceding the house numbered x is equal to sum of the numbers of houses following it that is we have to find an x such that this condition is satisfied okay for that what we are taking we are taking our previous equation that we find that is s x minus 1 equal to s 49 minus s x okay now in the next step we are going to determine what is x x minus 1 s 49 and s x by using this equation then what is s x minus 1 equal to by this equation x minus 1 by 2 into first term plus last term what is the first term 1 then last term x minus 1 that is we have to find the sum up to x minus 1 then what about s 49 n by 2 that is the last s n is 49 49 by 2 into 1 that is the first term and what is the last term 49 okay then next is sx then what is the nx sx by 2 into 1 plus x that is the first term 1 and the last term x okay so we got our the three equations here since we know the first and last term here we are going to use this equation otherwise we can use the equation that is sn equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d as the equation of sum of first 10 terms we are going to use this since we know very well what is the first and last term now substituting these values what we will get x minus 1 into x into x because 1 and negative 1 will cancel each other that is 1 minus 1 is 0 that is sx minus 1 is rewritten as x minus 1 by 2 into x then s49 is rewritten as 49 by 2 into 50 now s x is rewritten as x by 2 into 1 plus x now we can see that 1 by 2 is a common term in the in the three terms of this equation then we can cancel 1 by 2 from this term then what will remain x minus 1 into x that is x minus 1 into x is x square minus x now 49 into 50 that is we, can, we the 2 get cancelled from each and every term then what will remain here here x minus 1 into x that is x square minus x here 49 into 50 here x minus x square that is on multiplying we will get minus x minus x square this is the term now minus x and minus x are common in the LHS and RHS we can cancel it and we, in the next step we are taking minus x square to the left side then we will get x square plus x square that is 2x square equal to 49 into 50 which implies x square equal to 49 into 25 that is x square equal to 49 into 50 divided by 2 that is 49 into 25 then what is x that is 7 into 5 that is 35 that is square root of 49 into 25 square of square root of 49 is 7 and 25 is 5 then we will get x equal to plus or minus 35 okay then we will choose plus 35 from this since x denotes the house number hence we find an x such that which satisfies the condition given in this equation sorry given in this problem okay